Hey, check it out. It's Object Character Recognition, OCR. If you don't know what that means, that means uh, reading text. Check this out. I put this program over this box here. Robomatics, OCR that? Robomatics, it figured it out. Move it over so it gets rid of that. There we are, Robomatics. Sweet, check this out. I've also got all this mess over here. Put that over there. Oh, whoa, it freaking read it. That's really stinking cool. That's how cool OCR is and what it can do. So OCR is Object Character Recognition, and you put it over any text or group of texts, and it reads it and then gives and returns to you the uh, the text in string format. Now you can see here it pretty much grabs as best as it can. I've kind of cut off a couple of lines here. Let's see if I can't do that some more. And I won't be able to fully recognize these things. Now I found out uh, text that is bigger than 14. 14 or bigger is a good text size. So that's OCR. Now how do I make this? Let me show you. That's it. That's it. Ain't that awesome? All right. Let's first get with the setup here. In the setup, I have a rich text box. And I've bumped the font size up to like 14. That's right here under font, and I set it to 14. And I have a button, it's called OCR, it's on the front of it. And I have this picture box. Now, what's special about this picture box is the back color. And the back color is a randomly chosen color here, just gonna remember which one it is. Let's say this dark orange. Oh, look, it already is a dark orange. So, anyways, now I'll click on the form itself. And there is something down here called transparency key. And look at that, it's the same dark orange. Now what this allows that to do is more or less see through the, through the, what do I call it? Through the form, just like that. So it's transparency. That's pretty cool, just to know offhand. Now, within here, I import my EMGUCV stuff. And it's good to note also that I'm importing the OCR as well. Now, within this form, I define three things off the top. First is the OCR engine itself as a Tesseract. And uh, Tesseract, you may have heard it before for fancy sci-fi terms, but it's actually like a, a multi-sided cube kind of thing. And it's also the engine for OCR reading. And so anyways, equals new uh, Tesseract, and the first part is test data, and test data is where all the magic happens. And in test data over here is a folder, and I'll show you where to get this all in a minute. But test data contains all of the characters that um, it compares against to figure out which character is what that it finds. Uh, in, in the English language, however, you're not reading words, you're reading characters, so English could probably work for Italian or like French as well. And then we have an engine mode, which can do Tesseract only, or actually return to you the squares, showing you where it found these uh, characters in the program. And then I also define a bitmap, and I define a graphics for that bitmap. And so what I do is, with these, I am pulling the image from the desktop from behind my transparent picture box and then displaying that to the picture box. Does that make sense? No? I don't think so. Anyways, timer. I have it set for 100 milliseconds at true for enabled. And when that happens, I copy from the screen at the location of my form and the location of my picture box plus four and then likewise 30. That's for the 30 width here and the four width right there. And then the new points of where I want it to go. And I put that image into the picture box. So that's what you're actually seeing is the pulled image from the desktop from behind the picture box. That's pretty weird. So anyways, after that, when I click the OCR button, that happens right here, OCR recognize the new image of PIC, which is the pulled picture from the desktop. And then the rich text box text equals the OCR engine, get text that simple so cool all right now I want to go through exactly how to do this I'm gonna make a new application here okay get 
try to do this as fast as I can because Windows Expressions is what I use for recording a video and it's just terrible because it only gives me 10 minutes. That's why I like to do these things fast. Anyways, let's say a uh, picture box here. I'm going to make this 200 by 100 and I'm going to give it a back color of this dark orange. Okay, make a button, any button, and a rich text box. Now the way, the reason I'm going through all this again is really to show you how to set this guy up to as you please it to be because this stuff here, object browser, this is the stuff you gotta know about. In custom components set under the object browser you wanna add uh, the stuff for EMG C, EMG UCV because it's kind of important. So you want to include stuff like um, EMG UCV, which is right there. And you also want to include like the GPU, the OCR, uh, and the utility. That's important. So, anyways, once those have been added, and since mine have already been added and okay, they are all right here. So I want to do EMG UCV. Add that, and it says okay. I want to do also structure, okay. I want to do OCR, and then I do the utility here and the utility there. Okay, now I want to open up my explorer here, go to my EMGU folder that I've downloaded. That's from emgu.com, I'm pretty sure. You can get a link from that to SourceForge. So anyways now, open up bin and x86. Actually, I want to take bin and copy x86 and test data. Go to Windows applica my Windows application here, dump it in, just click and drag, and it will copy all that mess over. Now there's some large files in here, like GPU240 is a large file, and there's another file called Kublis, and that is also a large file. But that wasn't too bad, there they are. So now I'm going to delete this exe, that's unnecessary. And so now that I have all this, I select it all. I need to do the copy to output directory, copy if newer, because it needs to be right there next to the rest of my program. And the same for the test data. All right, now those are in there. Uh, going to write the program out, and I will cheat by opening up my program form here, just copy all, OK, and view the code here and paste it. And there we are. So now you can get this code, it's in the description as always. Wait for it. Wait for it. Come on. There we are. Thank you. Shoot, forgot to set the transparency key. OK, let's set that transparency key right there. Transparency key of dark orange. Okay, try that one more time. Cool. There's the transparency key. Bring up Rubomatix once again. Hit the button. There it is. And it tried to get feeding videos, but it didn't succeed because, uh, oh, feeding. Stun? Okay, whatever. It's, it's, for, for 14 and up, it's good. For anything less than that, you're, it's a crapshoot. And I wouldn't recommend it. But, that's so stinking cool. You can set up a webcam and just have all kinds of fun with that.